Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream, and it's a beautiful day out again today. Uh, we're at 81 degrees and cloudy, or partly cloudy, and tomorrow it's going to be 82 degrees and sunny, mostly sunny, and then the next day after that it's going to be 84, mostly sunny, and uh, no real rain in the forecast at this point, so we're going to take advantage of that, and that is working on our camper. I've been riding on a day. We are, including Heidi, say hi Heidi, <laughs> we're going to repaint this stripe on here. And we're not going to do it the way that it currently is because it's faded, it looks really bad. We're no professional painters and I am not prepping this the way that I would if I was to paint, let's say, a car. Bang by it. Yeah, winging it. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm just going to take and clean as much as possible in one section and then try some roll-on paint. Basically what we did is we went up to Lowe's and we picked up uh, Valspar's version of Rust-Oleum. Uh, the reason that we didn't get Rust-Oleum is because there's limited colors. The Valspar stuff they will mix for you and we wanted to go with a, a darker maroonish type stripe and a really dark blue and then we're going to add pinstripes once it's dry to lighten it up. Maybe we'll like the stripe whenever it's done the way it is. If we do like the way that it looks and it goes on well, then at that point uh, we'll do from the uh, stripe down uh, the current type of gray that it is, kind of like a dark eggshell, kind of like a dove gray of some sort. Hopefully the uh, final product <laughs> will look pretty good. Who knows how this is going to turn out, but you know, the way I look at it is, if I was to drive down the street and run over a couple of freshly painted yellow lines or white lines that the highway's putting down on the ground, most likely it would go up on the camper and it would stay on the camper. It would not come off the camper, not until I rubbed it off or scraped it off or whatever it took. And that is going on possibly a dirty trailer just driving down the road, coming off a tire um, and it's paint that was already painted on the ground. So, really, if you want to paint something, just make sure it's relatively clean underneath and smooth, and go ahead and paint it. See what happens. Most likely, it's going to stick. evening see we uh, we got dirty on this one but it's coming along what do you think Heidi? Yeah, I think it looks pretty good too yeah we were contemplating this tape pulling it off or leaving it on usually you leave it on while it's still kind of wet and then you pull it off and we don't want it to dry completely and then pull it off and the paint chip away We've got some concerns. Uh, we made the decision to paint over the plastic. I always thought it'd be kind of cool to do that. Um, I actually contemplated, and Heidi talked me out of it, which I'm glad she did, of painting 
like the corners too all around the trim just making it look like somebody wrapped the camper in a big stripe also our door frames our door frames always kind of were a little bit subdued so we didn't really paint them I didn't have much for the 3m Rolox with the scotch pad on it so I was just using some old ones that took forever we're concerned a little bit about the door and the paint again not clearly being marked uh, for plastic which this is like a, a resin type plastic that's on there so uh, hopefully that holds we hope that the paint don't fit, you know flake off or anything like that right now this is the the first stripe uh, we've got to let it dry which is going to be overnight and then we're hoping that we can mask over the uh, stripe then to paint the other color above and below it and then let it dry yeah but the whole thing is, is I'm scared to death about putting masking or putting that tape on there I think you have to wait it says five to seven days to cure oh then we can't Right. We'll have to peel the, we'll have to paint it peel the tape off. So I guess what we're going to do is uh, peel this tape off once she feels as if it's got enough coats on it, which the doors may need some more, um, just because they're so light to start with. Yeah, that looks all right. It's going on there, right? Uh, what we're hoping to do then is if this continues to turn out pretty decent, uh, then we made a big mistake I did not Heidi we bought a gallon of this red and we bought a gallon of the other color we used like one eighth of a gallon to do this stripe so yeah I was concerned that we weren't going to get enough and well we spent thirty two dollars on each gallon so it looks like we're going to be painting a lot of stuff that color hide. I like the color. <laughs> yeah, she likes the color, so maybe we'll find some stuff around the house to paint. <laughs> it's the same color. Um, and it's outdoor paint. Oh, I tell you, one thing we can paint for sure with that is the picnic table. Yeah. It needs it bad. Um, and that chair. That yeah. outdoor chair. So, yeah, we got a few things we can paint. All right, we'll continue this project. And for you, it's going to be seamless. But for us, eh, not so much. Well, we're still in the process of painting these stripes, but here's another day that we can't do anything. But look at there's a little bit of a rainbow left. Still got rain coming down sporadically. It's a nice day. It's just too wet to finish off that stripe. Okay, so that's going to have to be our update for today. Darn it. <sighs> All right, so I had to get my wide angle lens out. Look at how big that one is. This is like the third rainbow we've had today. I can't believe <laughs> that thing covers the whole freaking sky. That's crazy. Awesome. Wind's starting to pick up. The day's almost done. So that's it. this will be day two that we're working on the camper um, only two days of work done but a few days have gone by there was some rain involved and it was kind of cool and it's even a little bit cool still today um, even though Heidi says it's warm she's dressed like it's warm it's not too bad out it's I don't know what do you think about 65 it's not going to get but maybe in the 70s today but again I'm an 80 degree type guy so I got long pants and a jacket on we're in the process of starting the next color so we'll go ahead and start on the back just like we did with the last one and see how it turns out
so we're peeling it off while the paint's still wet although this tape is not supposed to affect it if it is dry but we're not taking any chances part of the camper came out really good other parts uh, we got to do some touch up on the other side I'll show you guys that take you guys off this tripod and walk you around a little bit that looks pretty decent we're still going to most likely add pinstriping um, just to break it up a little bit more kind of made it look the way it used to be um, Heidi had an oops here oops look at that so she's gonna have to fix that I don't know what she's doing back here I didn't hear any music were you dancing when you's painting back here yeah <laughs> and then this oh, I hate taping this uh, the problem is is the lines that we were doing there's no seams so you had to all freehand it Heidi's got to work today, that's why she's kind of busting her butt here. She's still got plenty of time now. She goes in at 1. We started this at 10. Did we start this at 10? Yeah. So I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when we started pulling tape off. The doors came out okay. Hopefully the, the paint sticks and stays. You don't want to do that yet? Yeah. Don't breathe. Oh, you are? Why are you afraid? What do you think is going to happen? So we debated if we were going to paint around the door frames. Um, we decided not to. We decided to leave it the way it was. Looks really good. Yeah, it looks better than it did. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. I, I think we're gonna have to do pinstriping hides because it just I don't know, maybe it'll look better when it's right now it looks kind of arts and crafts on the door. <laughs> Might be nice arts and crafts, but it still looks like arts and crafts. Magic. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. Where? Oh, yeah, red. But we can scrape that off. So this is what it looks like. Came out pretty good. I mean, this is roller action. I think it came out okay. Not too bad. Now, the discussion is painting the lower half of the camper and covering all the fixtures with the color that the lower half of the camper currently is or real close to it so this being let's say gray um, so will this and so will this and this will be gray and this will be gray this will be gray everything will be gray all the way around and then the lower half of the doors without doing the frame so just this panel here down just like the stripes painted but in that part it would be gray so this is the stuff Valspar anti-rust armor uh, basically this is their version of rust-oleum and the nice thing about it is it has a self-leveling factor to it kind of like Dicor does that even if you put it on with a brush or a roller it levels out really nice and I'll give you an example of that Heidi made mistakes out here uh, she, that's what I was doing earlier about her dancing whenever she was painting and you can see I just took a brush and it's not even a good brush and I just touched up here and you can kinda see it because it's still wet but for the most part it leveled out pretty nicely I was really happy with that I had to repaint all this with a brush because she didn't have a heavy enough coat and again it's leveled right out you don't see any brush strokes to it at all so the stuff works pretty well so I have extra paint I have uh, almost a full gallon of each Heidi was right we probably could have got away with a quart of each color I hate when she's right <laughs> we're going to end up using it at a couple different places uh, this maroon color uh, I think we're going to paint the garage doors uh, that'll be perfect um, 
they're currently some sort of a, a red now. Uh, it'll be a darker red, but yeah, we'll do that. Plus, we have uh, the picnic table that needs to be painted. If I decide to do more with the pinstriping or the lower half, uh, it'll be a complete different video. We just wanted to show you the initial painting that we're going to do. And uh, if I go into it on the other video, I'm not going to really go into it. We'll probably just show you what it looks like overall. So hopefully this video wasn't too long. Uh, for us, it drug out over a week. Not very happy about that, but we had to do what we had to do. Uh, weather permitting and Heidi's work permitting. Of course, um, I come out and tried to do a little bit of work, but uh, we got a lot of running around that I've been doing. Uh, we'll talk about that in a future video too, because we had a big change happen uh, to our household. I will talk about that later. So as always, guys, I hope to see you out there. Bye.